Mayor Suarez, Mayor Suarez, Chris Christie said that if you can't make the uh, candidates who can't make the debate stage, you just drop out. What's what, what do you what do you say to that? I've sort of always agreed with that. You know what I mean? I agree that if you can't meet the minimum thresholds, you shouldn't be trying to take time and volume away from people that do. Um, I think the minimum threshold I've said is fair. Um, one of the things that I do think is a bit unfair is that there's a lot of polls that haven't been in. Um, and it's a disadvantage when you're a relatively unknown candidate, when you see the reaction that the crowd has and the people have when they listen to me. You know that if you're given an opportunity to speak at a national level, that you're going to be able to connect and that you're going to be able to grow. Uh, so it's kind of a chicken or an egg problem. Um, and so we're doing everything we can over the next 10 days to get there. Uh, we're having constant conversations with the RNC about you know, counting certain polls. Uh, and we're hoping that they're uh, generous and flexible because of some of the obstacles that we've had to encounter, including not being included in at least a third of the polls that have been, that have been put out. If you don't make the debate stage when you end your campaign? I feel confident that I'm going to make the debate stage over the next 10 days and uh, I'll decide it then. You know, but I have said that you know, I don't think candidates should just sort of linger around uh, if, if, they're not, if they don't have a credible path. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.